I like video games. Rare video games. Common video games. All video games. I'm a fan of video games. So we're going thrifting. So here we are. We're outside our first thrift store. And let's go see what we can find. We're going to hit a few more after this. Uh, but this is our first location. So let's go. So we're at our first shop. Um, let's go. And this is a Goodwill store. I really like Goodwills. Uh, that good stuff typically. Um, if you go to the back corner of the store, they keep random electronics and stuff. And see if there is anything. So we found this. This is the closest gaming thing we've found in the store so far. Um, no clue how it works. Welcome to Tiny Palm. Our current record is zero. It's got like a ping pong paddle right here. And like a button and some weird slidey thing. They got it taped to not use it, but if you squeeze it, kind of, I'm not sure how that works. So it's starting to look like this place is a bust so far. So that first place was kind of a bust, nothing there. But we know where we're heading to next. Right down the road, there is another non-chain bo resale boutique thrift store. Uh, and we'll see if we can get it there. So we're out here outside our third store. Last store was a, bu was a boutique, like an actual artesian boutique. And no, no resale stuff in there, no thrifting items, nothing. It said like, nothing. So we're outside an actual resale store uh, from Habitat for Humanity. So let's see if we can find anything in there. So I believe the best time to go thrifting is like the first month after colleges start. When it's one tossed out stuff and two parents that are thrown away, thrown away like their kids that have gone to college and stuff, it's there. It's in the stores now. So I say go that month. It's small business Saturday right now. So I think this is also a good time too because this is when everyone brings out their nice things. So this store is packed. There's quite a bit going on in here. Um, let's see what we can find. Instantly make our way to the electronics section over here. Let's see what we can find. Well, the entire electronics section has mostly old radios and speakers and phones but not what we're looking for. But here's the two coolest things. One, old radio, pretty cool. And two, this old Kodak automatic projector. So those are both pretty quiet. Neither one of them are games. Also this looks like it should be from Fallout. Look at this. See the different songs in there, different things. The radio down below. That is pretty cool, FMAM cassette player. Dig it. Okay, the store, this store overall is also a bust, but not fully, because we have found the ultimate hat. Oh yeah. We are going to the pawn store. We are going straight to the pawn shop and seeing what we can find. Hopefully, whatever it is, it will be, well, we can't go out that way. It will be a lot better than what we've been finding in these little thrift shops. They have so much good stuff. In. Oh my goodness. Off the bat, walking in, the very first display shelf is video games. Yes, let's see what we got here. So there's some Sega Genesis games there. Mortal Kombat 2, that's pretty cool. Despite how much I love The Biggest Loser, um, Brain Games 2 and Jillian Michaels, all games for the Nintendo DS. This is not what we were looking for. The search was going pretty rough. Hey, this is probably the coolest gaming item I have found so far. It is a stir crazy uh, 
It is a stir crazy rubber ball arcade game. I don't know if you've ever played stir crazy, but what you do is you put in your coin price and you use a rubber ball to guide through here, bounce off and land in different one of those portals. And there's the jackpot, hard to get in the middle. 25 tickets, 25, five tickets. Through the handle. We have done it gamers. We have just scored the most best gaming item of all time. That's right. Hannah Montana, the movie, the game. Ugh. That's right, you are looking at the newest, proudest owner of Hannah Montana, the movie, the game. So we did it. We didn't quite do it, gamers. We had a full day of going to different stores. And every single store, did, except for the pawn shop, did not have what we wanted. And we didn't even find anything that rare or good in the pawn shop. But you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Some some days you're just finding every rare Pokemon card and every unopened copy of Co Pokemon Red or, you know, stuff like that. And then the next day you're finding uh, Hannah Montana the movie, the game. So I'm gonna take my Hannah Montana the movie, the game, and when I'm gonna play it, then I'll give you a review. So that was it. Four stores and one singular copy of Hannah Montana, the movie, the video game. Maybe in the future we will find something cool, like a Nintendo 64 is what I really would love to find in a store somewhere, but I guess I'll just have to order those online. That's all for now. This has been Guy and Games, signing out. <laughs>